Well, hello and welcome to Jimonism TV. Today I will tell you how to make your laptop or desktop computer or any computer of Windows 10 or I guess Surfpad or anything like that start faster. So what you will do is you will click Control Shift Escape to get up the um, task manager and you need to uh, navigate through the different um, browsers here to get the auto start. This auto start button is crucial. Now you will sort on status activated and not activated and uh, basically you can see what type of um, processes that will start when Windows is activated itself. So you basically want to check here, this is my uh, virus uh, thing and this is uh, Intel Corporation's thing, you know, the late launcher, you should keep that active. Uh, my audio things uh, to keep my J J Java, uh, to keep my Java updated basically. Um, I want to keep that uh, online. And here you can see I have Microsoft OneDrive setup. I don't want that so I right click and I say deactivate and uh, we have Windows Defender notification good to have we have Sun alarm my firewall and here we can have lots of other thing I deactivated Apple push uh, my battlefield 2 hub client CC cleaner demon tools um, we have QuickTime, we have Skype, we have Twitch, we have Steam which I deactivated as starting with the system the more things you have deactivated, if you have lots of programs, you should deactivate every single one of them you don't need. If if you use like if you use Steam, say uh, every second time you start your computer, deactivate it. If you don't use an app every time, deactivate it. You know, uh, but update things to keep things apps you like updated you should have them activated so you can keep them up to date and it's a very important you keep your security software your antivirus programs and your firewalls you really need to keep those um, active so that is one part now we'll go through to the next part now you want to click the Windows key and you want to click in services. Oh no, it's spelling bad. So you write in services and now um, I have my Swedish uh, install program. So here you see down on apps. You should see this icon here with services. My says chance there, and if you use another language, this is the icon you look for. Start that. So like that. Don't get overwhelmed by this. It's not so uh, hard actually. But here you have lots of services, and these things are also started automatically. If this says automatic, it will start with a system. What you want to do is. Um, you want none to you see the manual are started when you start an application and the automatic are started automatically so you want to drag this out so you can see properly what they are about uh, and you can read about what these things does of course I want to keep my uh, firewalls and stuff like that activated uh, you can read about every single service but if there is a service you don't need then you can close it down. If you don't use it often, you can close it down so you only start it when you start the program which is uh, connected to. However, um, however, you should be a bit careful with everything that says uh, Windows or uh, Windows service because um, you probably want to keep the Windows services active. That's the unit tip. And all your security programs and firewalls, you also want to keep that active. But anyways, um, I have of course already done this. Uh, so basically some things I have uh, disabled is like uh, Xbox Live. I don't use Xbox Live. Um, there are lots of things I've deactivated here basically so everything you don't need everything you don't need you just double click them 
so let's see here like um, plug and play for example you could say let's say I want it to automatic then I just double click it and select automatic and now it's actually so that I don't want to have it uh, started like that so we will click P until we find plug and play um, I double click it and I select no I want it to be manual and then apply and OK by doing this your laptop will start faster this is the biggest way to increase um, the booting time except getting a SSD drive if you have the opportunity to on your uh, desktop or laptop install a SSD drive that's the absolute fastest way to boot your computer and of course you need to install Windows onto the SSD so basically the best way to increase start speed is getting an SSD. The second best thing is doing what we just done. So I hope this tutorial helps you to get a faster startup of your, of your computer. And basically check the channel for more, um, for more fancy tech tutorials. Also, if you want to see gaming videos, it's probably a cliche, but that's my bigger channel, so you can check it in the description as well. Anyways, we'll be making more Windows optimization videos uh, to come, so be tuned for that. This is Jimalism TV. Thank you very much for watching, and officially, me, Jimalism, is signing, signing, signing out. Anyway, see you around. Jimalism, signing out.